So this is the collector connector fitting. We've got a ferrule and a nut on the plumbing side and a washer on the collector side. With both of our collectors mounted face to face so the plumbing connections face each other, now we're going to make a fitting to connect these together into our line set. And we're going to end up with something like this. Two collector connectors, our pipes, and this T that will connect to our line set. So we took our pieces of copper pipe and we cut them the lengths that we wanted and created these short stubs with a collector connector and a piece of pipe. And we're going to put one on there. And we're going to put one on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on the upper two connections. Now we need room in here to get our T connected. So we're going to slide this collector back about an inch maybe. That's good, right there. Okay, so we're going to put insulation on these. We're going to put our T in the middle here. And again, we're doing the same thing on the top. And we're going to very gently slide that collector back in again. Like that. Now we have a connection between the two collectors, top and bottom. With our T in place, top and bottom, and our roof boots in place, and our line sets up through the roof, we can now connect the line sets to the T, tighten all these connections, and we're ready for fluid. Now that we have the plumbing connections done to the bottom and the top of the collector, and connected to our line sets, all we have to do is install our sensor. There's a grommet here, which covers the sensor well. We take the grommet out, we take the sensor through the grommet. We push the sensor all the way into the sensor well. Set the grommet back in place. We make our connection to our line set wire and we're complete on the roof.